After loading our bikes this morning, we rode around the back of the hotel to take a few pictures. Today, our motorcycles would take us from Bundoran east to Monet Castle, then to Enniskillen, then back west near the Atlantic coast to Sligo. That's a horse, not a donkey. Monet Castle was built in 1616. Its design is Scots influenced with its corbels and crow stepped gables on both towers. It was built for the rector of Devonish, Malcolm Hamilton, who was promoted to Archbishop of Cashel in 1623. During the Irish Rebellion of 1641, Monet was attacked by Rory Maguire. Several people were killed during that battle. In the mid-1700s, Monet was gutted by fire and has been abandoned ever since.
short ride from Monet Castle, we were in the town of Enniskillen, where Sean and I were able to practice more of our motorcycle sidewalk riding skills. We stopped at Enniskillen Castle and Museum and went on the self-guided tour. Kevin's grandfather was stationed here during World War II. Shortly after our tour, it was time for Kevin to break away from our Irish motorcycle trip and head back home so we could return to work. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I did too. And, uh, we'll do it again. Okay, sounds Maybe good. Some other but we'll do it again. Exactly. Right, See you, Kevin. Bye. Drive safe. We were going to miss Kevin's quick witted humor his perfect renditions of Willie Nelson's On the Road Again, and the secure feeling we had as he guided us through the streets of Ireland. hours after leaving Enniskillen, we arrived in the town of Sligo near the west coast, where we unknowingly booked rooms in one of the biggest hotels in the city and completed another day of our tour of Ireland. Mm -hmm. 